Hello everyone, welcome to the study hacks institute of GIS and sensing. Today I try to discuss a very important topic, namely how we keep the Google Earth engine for disaster management and mitigating attack of flood. So basically, flood is an overflowing of water onto the land that is normally dry. So how we can easily mitigating the impact of flood using Google Earth Engine. I will try to discuss all of method as well as I also try to show you that all of process how we can easily apply the Google Earth Engine and then we can easily mitigating the impact of flood. First of all, first method flood mapping and monitoring. So there's a lot of way can apply for monitoring the flood. So the best way is that Sentinel-1 SAR data. So this Sentinel SAR data is very potentially used to monitor the flood. So we can easily use imagery to map flood extent before, during, and after the flood we can easily create. And then further we can easily identify the flood water and non-flood water. So in this case, we are using the different types of technique. One kind of technique called the thresholding technique. So mainly VIS or VP band ratio. We just find out the thresholding technique. Then in it, the water bodies and flooded areas. So I, if I show you the one example from my code, suppose here you can see. This is one kind of example. So this is the flood map in state in year of 2022. So we can easily create the flooded area as well as also we can separate the permanent water body basically this type of uh, blue color find out that it one kind of permanent water body and this type of red color indicating about that flooded area or flood inundation area so in this case we can simply apply the thresholding technique ev or vs band after and before flood it just compare and further, we can find out this type of flood area. And we can also calculate the area. Suppose how much uh, area for the flooded area we can easily calculate it. You can see. So this unit is the hectare. Okay. As well as total district area, we also calculate it. Further, we can easily calculate the percentage, how much area is the flooded. As well as we can also compare the result. Suppose how much uh, cropland or how much build up or how much people affected by the flood so this is another way so basically in this case here you can see this is the one way you can simply apply the thresholding technique and further we can easily delineating the water bodies and flood areas and this result allows you to track the flood dynamics and issue warning for evacuation for response team okay. as well as can see this is another way okay. time this code it's mainly show you the damage assessment which type of suppose if i show you the code from my side suppose here you can see this is another code so basically this is the recent flood in year of 2024 uh, august okay. so this is the august 2024 so we can create this type of map and we can easily find out this type of Two color pixel indicating about that potential flooded areas. So maximum we can find out that lot of area is affected by flood water. We can easily get it. So now further, if one, you can also estimate some damage assessment. Suppose how much cropland damage for this flood, or how much build up area, or how much urban area. This type of things we can also calculate it. As well as export a population density. So for that, uh, if you want, you can also use here the population density map, and also try to uh, make the estimating how much people or higher the people more affected by the flood. We can also calculate. So in this case, you can see it show the flood condition, flood status between the uh, 20 August from 30 August. So between this time period, it calculated the estimate flood extent area. The total area is 6520 hectares and estimate number of exposed people so basically this data sets here for 2015 
uh, if you want you can also use the update data set then you also get the more better result so basically this is the result uh, this data source it's provide the re result for year of 2015 and it not updating so if you are if you have the update data then you also get the more update uh, result how much people exposed by this plot we can calculate and estimate the affected cropland so here you can see affected cropland we find out that uh 12471 hectare okay and it's created from the landsat data if you want you can also use here the more high resolution imagery data then you also get the more better result and if you want to show this uh crop affected cropland area so we can see this type of area uh, basically this type of area it is cropland but this plot is also affected by this type of cropland okay. as well as uh, suppose uh also flooded areas you can see okay the exposed population density so in this time it's not the proper update data set that's why it not work very well but if you have the update data set about the population density for this study area then it also possible to create the more better analysis so as, as well as also you can see about the after plot so this is the imagery mainly sentinel one star data so this is the after flood condition and you can see this is the before plot okay so this is the before plot condition and you can see about the after flood condition you can get the lot of water body pixel increase okay so this is the one way we can easily uh, use it and further we can easily monitor the damage assessment also okay and also calculated the total damage area for cropland urban area or exposed population okay so basically in this case if you want you can also use that the signal to our land set imagery after the flood you can easily get the high resolution uh imagery and you can make the change detection okay and it help you the local government or organization can uh priorities relief and effort based on the damage severity they can also provide as well as we also use the another way risks zone mapping so basically it's very important we can easily find out that uh susceptibility mapping or hazard mapping where we find out that high hazard and using this way we can easily uh authorities can easily take the future planning and mitigate the flood condition okay so this is the one way so you can i also show this code for this flood uh you can see here so basically from this uh code we can easily identify about that why we find out that high peaks of flood so basically this type of red color indicating about the high risks then you can see uh, this type of yellow like identify about the this type of red color is the high very high okay and this type of yellow color is the high risks and you can see about that it shows the very low low medium okay so different types of range we also create the flood hazard map using the gis asp multi criteria analysis and we can also it's this type of map is very helpful to taking the decision making for the authorities uh, and they can easily help the authorities in future planning and also mitigation the flood so it also possible using the google earth engine as well as if you want you can also uh, trace the real time weather data okay so in google earth engine platform we can easily access the different types of climate data in the era five or chart of the ongoing rainfall pattern or wind speed or track the how the weather evolves the past post flood okay and this provides the early warning or for secondary disasters such as landslide or additional flooding we can easily get it suppose here you can see it's one kind of map rainfall map we can easily identify this type of place is the high rainfall also this type of place we find out the high rainfall okay so this is the um chance to take the flood mapping or flood corn uh, area or also it can be also the landslide area okay but due to the high rainfall we can also easily identify we can also take the early warning system from here as well as we also uh put the landslide sensibility okay so here you can see the slope and soil moisture analysis using this rtm or soil moisture product in the s map identify the areas that are susceptible to landslide after the heavy rains associated with the flood so we can easily find out you can see this type of place is indicating about the very high risk for uh, landslide we can identify okay also you can see the moderate low very low okay so we can easily identify about that and also take the uh, early stage step to prevent this type of risk or hazard or disaster okay as well as we can also uh, use the natural disaster recovery so basically uh for use the land use land cover data to identify opportunity for the building back in uh, 
excellent manner for example restoring the mangrove or visited proper for coastal production and replanting the vegetation in the deforested area as well as we can also create this type of map where we find out that you can see it's a permanent water body and this type of place the uh, high hazard index for the flooding this type of place so for that we also take the early um warning system for this type of place when we check this type of place of the heavy rain fall or other things then we can also take it and also take the early warning system so basically uh, we can use this type of technique such as uh, you can see that natural disaster recovery as well as also we can take the type of landslide susceptibility as well as also you can see about the uh, real time weather data we can easily tracking using google earth engine if you want you can also uh, make the rig zone mapping and then further you can simply generate the rigs map that show the flood prone areas helping the authorities in future planning and mitigate the strategies as well as we also uh, find out that damage assessment after flooding can you do it and we also track the flood the flood mapping and monitoring using our data so basically this type of uh, development we can do using google earth engine and further this type of process is also help you to mitigate the flood impact okay it also help you to mitigate the flood impact and it also help you to take the authorities the future planning so that's why it's very important at present time okay so if you have any question or any doubt about that or if you are interested to learn this type of all techniques such as flood mapping or monitoring or damage assessment okay as well as all of other mitigation process then you can easily join my online training program you can easily learn it okay we are also providing the online training program so you can easily learn all of those things and also use this type of technique to mitigate the flood impact okay so today is no more thank you for watching that happy lab